Hi guys, I'm gonna discuss with you all about the distributed denial of service attacks, its types, and also I'm gonna show a demo and also gonna provide some tools to prevent the DDoS attack in network as well as in the cloud. What is distributed denial of service attack? It is a form of cybercrime in which the attacker overloads the computing or the network resources with so much traffic such that the legitimate users are prevented to access the network resources. It targets a wide variety of important resources from banks to the new websites. Next is the types of DDoS attacks. They are of majorly of three types. One is volumetric, connection state, and application layer attacks. In case of volumetric attacks, the attackers consumes all the available bandwidth or a data center. In case of connection state attacks, the network devices and systems will have an internal database with some limited resources that are used to track the active connections or disconnected connections. So with this type of attack, with this type of attack, the table is being filled with many connections so the new user cannot make a connection. In case of application layer attacks, the application servers are being overloaded with so many requests for the resources such that all the available resources are consumed. The best example is the HTTP GET and POST flights. Before moving on to the demo, I would like to explain about the slow low risk attack. Here the blue diagram, it represents the normal HTTP request and response connection, whereas the slow low risk DDoS attack, which is in a red diagram, it is a red diagram, it represents the Incomplete HTTP request. Here, the slow loader it works by opening the multiple connections to the targeted servers and keeping them as long as open as possible. The attack servers also will open more and more connections for each of the attack requests to be completed. So this is how the slow loader attacks takes place. Now let's go on to the demo. I'm going to explain the DOS attack by using the Kali Linux. I'm going to use a bash that is a GitHub by using a pent menu. I'm going to show you a demo of DOS attack. So to get pent menu from the GitHub, I'm going to clone it from the official GitHub website. So So you can either clone it or download it. This is the URL. The cloning is done successful. Now let's move into the bank menu folder. So we'll list down and see what what are the elements present in the bank menu. It has license, pen menu, and readme.md. So we'll execute the bank menu. So let's see what is there. So it lists down some of the options, namely recall. DOS, extraction, do read me and quit. So since we're gonna see DOS attack, I'll choose the option two. Once I have selected option two, it lists down some other like some of the options: ICMP echo flight, TCP synchronization flight, TCP agnostic flight, RST flight, and slow loaders. Now I'm gonna show a demo using slow loaders. So I am selecting an option nine. So, I'm uh, like I'm gonna attack a website named gameofhacks.com. So this is my targeted website. I'm gonna make a DOS attack on this website. So I'm giving the corresponding website URL as my target. So I'm giving the default port as 80. Number of connections, you can open any number of connections. 
so what is the time interval i am giving as like a 10 okay so it's asking for use ssl or tls i am using default so i'm doing emails so so now the viewers attacked almost successfully so we'll check our command command prompt So we think that website. We should get request timeout. So it's been the website which we have made a viewers attack. Yeah, yeah, we got a request timeout. And the guy Linux. So here it have made an slowlorus attack successfully. And we got the request time out. See, our attack is successful. Now let's move on to the PPT. So, what are the countermeasures to prevent the DDoS attack? There are some of the tools. I have listed on some tools: Cloudflare, FI Networks, Black Lotus, Arbor Networks, and Encapsula. And there are some of some of the cloud services. That has been provided by the cloud service providers to prevent the DDoS attack, which are AWS Sheet, the Radworth Hybrid Cloud DDoS Protection Service. Akamai's also pro provides some cloud services to prevent the DDoS attacks and Azure DDoS Protection Services. I hope you guys got an overview of DDoS and how does it works and how does it occurs and also a tools to prevent the DDoS attack from this video. Thanks for watching.